my guest who's in studio from Access Hollywood, that's from last year's Golden Globes, getting set for this year's Golden Globes. Kit Hoover, good to see you good here to on the see program. You. Now, before we get to the Golden Globes, we have to talk about the Wayback Machine. We go 2003. Way, way back. No, 2000, yeah, 2003. 2003. That's oh, right. trust me, I remember when, when I left ESPN. Uh, there was a concept of maybe I was going to host cold pizza with you. With me. So yeah. I show up eight months pregnant. Yes. We have this lunch. They wanted to see if we had chemistry. Right. I felt it. You never called. I don't know. Well, I, it's got nothing to do <laughs> with you. Come on, Rich. I mean, you know, there were other determining factors. You were so, so to great. Speak. So, got 2003, we meet about this show, Cole yeah. Pete said. They're like, yeah. it's going to be a two hour live sports show. New York City, you get up at 3 a.m. You looked at me like, are you insane? Yeah, that was one determining factor. Another, you know, that I, I, I like my pizza hot. You know what I mean? I'm They're a New called, Yorker. Well, remember how they know? pitched it? They're like, it's a show about everything, which really means a show about nothing then. When you break it down, we need to yeah. find out what we were. I needed, I needed a little bit more meat on the on the pizza bones. You were so you know? nice, though. I got to tell everybody out there. So then I agreed to do it. And you were you would follow up, and you would send me sort of sports links or interesting stories. You really yeah. tried to help me with my research, which clearly I needed help on. Yeah. And you were so nice. I always look back, and I'm like, Rich was the greatest guy to be. And weren't you just about to get married? Yeah. Yeah. And now, now got, you've got frozen Susan. on the brain well, and got, all the babies. Well, I got three and, kids. I got six, three, and 16 months at home. And you got the baby girl. Yeah, I do. I got the baby girl. Yeah. Susan, I got the Tell baby girl. Tell Sus hello. I will do that. She's a knockout, by the way. Well done. I appreciate that. I've outkicked my coverage, as <laughs> they did. say in the National Football League world. Uh, Kid Hoover's here from Access Hollywood. We also share an old stage manager, too. Joanne. Joanne. Kamei, she sent know. a picture today, which I meant to bring for you to uh, say that hello. Can't, that cannot be a flattering photograph. It's, you me. look fantastic. No, no, you no. got hair down here. I know. I probably, I know. I probably look like a caveman with so much no, hair. No, you get back that with day. anybody that talks about you. Anybody, they really love you. And sorry about your friend, Stuart Scott. Well, yours, you know, yours too, I'm sure. I don't know if you've... If we you've, did a dream job together. Yeah, I know, look, right? Can we discuss, so I go from cold pizza in year yeah. one to dream job. Talk about a major fish out of water. Right. Clearly last man right. hired. Right. And Stuart went out of his way to make me feel comfortable. Stu's the best. The best. Stu's the all-time best. I'm here with Kid Hoover of Access Hollywood. Let's talk about the Golden Globes. Let's do. Do you like this award show like I do? Oh, People yeah. are drinking. It's TV and movies, it's loose. People come to have a good fun, to have more fun. It's kind of rowdy. I know. I like. Well, I mean, with the the only equivalent that that I can make about this from the world that I've been living in for the last twelve years, um, is, or longer than that, was the sports Emmys. The yeah. TV sports Emmys used to be like this, where it was a dinner and a couple of open, you know, People facilities. Get loose, yes. Kind of rowdy. Now instead, you're in this auditorium, and it's. There's, it needs to and be there's no cell reception on purpose. You can't tweet. You can't do anything. But it does look like like a party. And and we have some nominees I want to go through with you here. Okay. Best drama, because this is not like the Oscars. That you split up best drama, best comedy. Boyhood, Foxcatcher, The Imitation Game, Selma, The Theory of Everything. Handicap okay. this one for me. Well, before Hoover. I want to know what you've seen of all of these. Uh, the big Everybody's talking about Boyhood. Boyhood, you know the story about this. Link later. 12 years he shot this movie. Nobody does anything for 12 years anymore. Right. Where, where it, right now everybody wants things moment to moment. So 12 years took his time. Uh, did you see the movie? That's one movie with an older, the six-year-old boy, Susie and I have said, we don't want to watch somebody <laughs> grow older. We're trying to freeze time right Susie, now. Susie, I need to talk, because maybe you know? I'm not artsy enough. I can appreciate the movie for the concept and what it was, but right. I, I just, it was not my thing. But the mm -hmm. acting in it is fantastic. I think it incredible. will win. It's going to That's win. That's going to win. It's going to win, I think, up there. You handicap. Know. Boyhood is the winner yes. for that. Okay. Uh, moving on to best actor right now. And again, this is a best actor in drama. Uh, you've got uh, Edie, uh, Eddie Redmayne of The Theory of Everything, Steve Carell in Foxcatcher, who's awesome, awesome in that movie. Plus it's Steve Carell, how he vacillates between the comedy sure. and drama. Benedict Cumberbatch. Amazing. I got Sherlock for me there in The Imitation Game. Uh, David Oye, 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 Oyello. Oyello, right. Come to me from for Selma. pronunciation. I will do That's that. My and, then the, and then the fifth one that just got taken off the board. Who, who wins that I one? I think it's think? Eddie Redmayne. If you've seen this movie, um, it's mm -hmm. unbelievable. It's the Golden Globes, they love a transformation. His tran transformation in this movie is simply remarkable. Okay. Um, and the real Steve Hawk has just had his birthday yesterday, mm -hmm. which is unbelievable. They said this guy wouldn't live two years, and he lived to 73. So remarkable story. He's fantastic in this and a really likable guy. I think it's his to That's win. Kit Hoover's choice. All right, moving yeah. on to Best Actress right now. This is uh, for the Golden Globes. I don't Globes. know about this one. Let's look at this Julianne guy. Moore, Amy Adams, Emily Blunt, Helen Mirren, and... Uh, we have the, the wrong the, movie the, up there. Map to the Stars was the comedy she's nominated for, but I okay. think Julianne Moore will win this okay. uh, for drama. 
Again. And the girl from Annie, too, right? The yeah, girl, the... did you see? Now, this is in your wheelhouse. Have you seen this? Annie, I have not. I, I, uh, somebody who was Blast in Annie me. said not to see <laughs> By the way, I went and saw it, though. You saw Annie? I and did. Kano, and Kano Bali? It was hilarious. It's right. a hard knock life, yeah, my friend. Yeah, it's fun. Okay. All right. Are so, the girls into the, How old are the girls now? To, I just have two boys, and I've got one girl oh, who's 16 right. months. She's, she's not of any movies. So how right are the now. boys? Sorry. The switch. boys are six and almost four. Cooper's four, almost four, and Xander's six. Cooper and Xander. I know. I'm in the soup. Are you cool yet? Are you cool because you're a sports guy and cool guy? Or they um, living no, I'm, listen, I'm dad. I'm dad. I'm the guy that they don't listen to. <laughs> <laughs> you know? That's, Who's that's into me. Frozen? What's this Frozen uh, Zan, here? Zan is, Zan is into Frozen. And you My know every son. song. Um, yes, I know. I know about opening up the gates. I know about building a snowman. I know. Warm hugs. I do know about warm hugs. I, I know about summer uh, and how that's not good for snowmen. Um, I mean, Olaf, who's cuter than Olaf? Well, I mean, that's Josh get... Gad. Come on. I know the voice of <laughs> Olaf. Come on. Come on. I can go frozen. I can go toe to toe with people on frozen. On and frozen. I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not ashamed to admit it. Yeah. It's actually a great, a great movie. It's a great movie. The message uh, in there is great. We shall overcome. Right. Yeah. So the best drama of television, because um, this is the neat part about this, too, at the Hollywood Foreign Press, they talk TV. Downton Abbey, The Affair, Game of Thrones, House of Cards, The Good Wife. Okay, I, on this one, I think House of Cards might win, but The Affair, have you seen this over on Showtime? It is, ooh, it's good. I know, my, my Susie watches it, and every time she's done with an episode, because it's on Sunday nights and I pass out because of my schedule, uh, every time she's done watching it, she's like staring at me. <laughs> <laughs> And I'm like, well, hello. What, what what what's going on? Is she's she like, feeling frisky? No, so. I think she's pissed at me. <laughs> I, it's the way I look at it. She's sort of like, what's going on well, in your I, mind? We can't decide. So I work with Billy Bush on our show, and we watched um, five episodes together, flying back from New York one time. And it's okay. the affair. You're watching the steamy stuff going right. on. But when you really watch, I think it's a major deterrent. So I think you should watch it together. It shows okay. you not to cheat. But she she loves Dominic West. Yeah. Oh, he's fantastic at this, and he's nominated as well. It's a great new show. It's all about the murder. There's mm -hmm. a side plot. It's sexy and good. It delivers, especially for. So you think night. Netflix is going to take its first big Golden Globe award? I think award. it could. That I would think be it could huge. On that. But House of Cards, I just never count on what's going on. I there. love Kevin House Spacey. of Cards. I've even seen the old British version of it. It's fantastic. I and I, I just. Uh, Game of Thrones for me is I truly never dialed in, but incredible. It's probably, yes. Have you never seen I've never, Game of Thrones? I think Thrones? you're either into Game of Thrones or you're not, and I have not, and so that's you that have to. My it's I not know. like but Dungeons and Dragons. Late? It's too late it's not, for me. No, 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 no. It's not. It's not. It's never too late. Number one, and you know that. Who's got but the time? It's okay. it's not like you're rolling a twenty sided die, you know, and playing Dungeons and Dragons. It is the real. It's Are you sure? What awesome. am I going to like about it? Everything. It's awesome. Is it's it? great drama. It's got the... Is there some love stuff Oh, going my on? goodness gracious. Is there some love and stuff? <laughs> oh, my gosh, yeah. Okay. Let's yeah. be honest, though. The, the nudity was better in seasons one through three. Well... It's they've of, gotten better? If, no, it, it's gotten worse. They've Thank all, you, Mr. Skin. The nudity become, like was better? They've all become established want, actors. Now they won't show it, you know? Do you want to time code it? Do you want to time code it for those that, out there? That's still Tufo's. That's still Tufo's. Season season, two, but. episode three, 38 and, minutes in. Right. And this right is one there. of those things where on point. Where where Susie, who loves it too, she will turn to me and go, "That mother of dragons is." <laughs> I mean, she even you know that mother of dragons is something else. There's no uh, question about Rich, it. Rich, I love your set too. Is Thank this you. supposed to be? Because now at home you've got the kids and the cute wife. Yeah. Is this your man cave? Is this where you come to well, unwind and look at it? I saw the big house backstage. Oh and yeah. All We've got stuff. it all working. Yeah. This is this is where I this is where I find my peace. This is an evolved man cave. Yes, I see this. I'm I'm this is I'm you know I, this I want this to scream urbane and then there's the stuff that my two Chris's put on the set. Well, I live here. It's What's fine. It's, sure. it's not a big deal. Do they deal. only get the little desk up there? You get the whole. <laughs> set and they get their little bitty desk up there? Is this what I'm seeing That's right That's how I'll let you know his name is on the show. Thank you. Not ours. <laughs> Thank you. So. I've worked, as you know, I've been working yes. very hard at this thing for some time. I know. I'm so happy for all So Tina success. Fey and Amy Poehler, they're going to, you know, Deliver. this is the second year in a row that they've this, done this it? This will third? be their third and it's the last Because Ricky Gervais one. pissed everybody yeah, off, Yeah, but wasn't right? he great? See, I, I love, love him. I loved him and I loved when, they, they got, when he goes after Hollywood. I love those moments of poking fun at Hollywood. But it's, it's not so like fun. these two ladies won't do that, though. No, but they do it in such a different way and they have such a different style about them. Last year, they were hammering all the men. Do you remember what they said when they welcomed mm -hmm. Leonardo DiCaprio? Do you remember that? Yeah. Like a supermodel's vagina, please welcome <laughs> Yes. Can I say that? Well, you just but did. But it was like, they're so quick, and they went after Clooney. So they went after Clooney in a funny way, talking about gravity. Yes. He would rather float off in space and die than be with a woman his own age. Uh, and so Clooney, that. when we interviewed him, yeah. we're like, you poked the bear. So I'm hoping Clooney 
who's winning the right. uh, Cecil Day DeMille Award, will do something to go after them. It could be, I hope it's light and fun. The the ladies will deliver. You and Billy Bush, is there somebody on the set to just, to, to just make sure the two of you don't bounce off the walls off of each other? I mean, why are we high energy? I think, it... Well, I know that about you. Yes. And I saw Billy Bush once in Nate Nows, of all places, here in Los Angeles, which I found oh, fascinating. Oh, Nate Nows is fantastic. Yeah, I know that, I know. He got me the best tuna on rye there that I've ever had in my whole he's, life. He's, and he, and he, he struck me as very high energy. Yes, right? I think we uh, we have fun together. We I have know a you lot do. Of fun. You gotta have him on. He's sports guy. I know. He's sports. I guy. know, and you know, I mean, you know, this is the nexus of sports and entertainment here in right Los here. Angeles. This is kid. the combo. This you is know what I mean. Comes together. That's what I'm saying. I'm just I'm just saying. I'm glad that you're here to see this in person. You want to talk snubs, laws? Well, we I do? thought there were a couple snubs. You know, Bradley Cooper and Sniper, American Sniper, no nomination, um, Unbroken. Didn't get anything. How about Angie getting that? I thought for sure there'd be way more for Unbroken. Now, Jennifer Aniston is nominated for Cake, and it's funny about that is you think, as soon as you hear Angelina, you go Jennifer Aniston, people want to see them together, that should be Did you drop an Angie on me? I told, do we talk about Angie here? No, I mean, don't, no, it's just like, I just Oh, did like, I say Angie? Yeah, yeah. Well, you know, Rich, since I left ESPN, <laughs> I am, uh, <laughs> Angie comes over with uh, Maddox you know, and Pax, they're uh, crazy. And, and Krista Smith of uh, Vanity Fair, West Coast editor, brought the Angelina Jolie cover when she was on with Sue's Look at my time. eyes, By the way, I think she's, these things. I think she's coming back in, Krista, on Tuesday when Sue's comes here. We're gonna get another I gotta one get Susie. Post. You gotta tell Susie the great here's mom story. The first time I interviewed Angelina, I'm fresh off ESPN. Okay. And I'm interviewing and I'm pregnant. And I think, this is great. Like, we're hitting it off. I'm pregnant. Yeah. Normally, she, Angie yeah. doesn't have many girlfriends. I'm like, I am gonna be the game changer. And? So we have this interview. It's great. And so I leave there, and a publicist stops me and says, I need your personal information. Mm -hmm. Boom. I'm like, we are besties. It's going to be great. Locked in. She never called. I went back to my neighborhood in Fairfield. I told all the moms, like, Angie's coming with Maddox. Get the, kick the can ready. And yeah. it never happened. Never did happen. No, but she'll call someday. What an outrage. Right? What an absolute outrage. Gosh. Or, you know. Uh, listen, this is what cold pizza could have been like, everybody. I mean, this the is, chemistry is this undeniable. Is, this is what it almost was right here. But instead, the, the pizza turned out to be very cold. <laughs> Did. And I think what everything's obviously worked though. out for, for you great. here. Congratulations on everything with you, Thank you. Let's we're, hug it out. Come on. We're going to hug it I out. I need to hug it out as we go. Up. There we go. Right here. Thanks. Good to see you. It's not I'm delivery. I'm serious. Great to it. see you. I'm Thank happy you. for everything. You bet. That's Kid Hoover I want to see those babies. On, on, uh, on, uh, on Access Hollywood. What time's Access Hollywood? We go live. Uh, we're 11 a.m. here. See, we tape I live at 8 for the East Coast. No, no, why, see, why would he say that he sees I you I get home night? at 7 o'clock at oh, night. Oh, I also do the guys. night show. I'm a busy, busy one. Then yeah. Access Hollywood, the night show. It's on 7.30 p.m. NBC. So there's two shows. That's what I see. You know, okay. working hard, my friend. I'm working hard. I like it. We'll come okay. by sometime. Enjoy. Enjoy. Uh, enjoy. What, uh, what, and, and who are you wearing Sunday night? I don't care about that stuff. I love I that. No, I have no <laughs> clue. They asked I'm, if I wanted to fit down. Just bring it when I show up at the hotel. I'm, I'm wearing Chess King Sunday <laughs> night. That's what I will be wearing. Thanks, Kid. Perfect. Thanks, Appreciate Charlotte. Kid Hoover here on The Rich Eisen Show. The Rich Eisen Show, weekdays at noon Eastern. On Audience.